race that can make you immortal. Cheers to Scotty winning the 500! Winning the 500 this year, honestly, would mean everything. 100 Days to Indy, season finale, Friday, June 7th on The CW. Don't miss a new episode of Walker, Wednesday at 8, 7 central on The CW. Now at 10, an unarmed father of three is shot and killed during an argument with an off-duty LAPD officer. The latest on what led to the deadly confrontation. Plus a country divided, reaction and fallouts after President Trump's historic criminal conviction. So what happens next and how will the verdict affect the upcoming election? They had a heartbreaking crime caught on camera. A thief steals a special tricycle belonging to a seven-year-old girl with a rare neurological disorder. Her family's plea to get it back now on the News at 10. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin. An unarmed father of three is shot and killed during a confrontation with an off-duty LAPD officer. Witnesses say it began as a fender bender that escalated into a violent dispute ending in gunfire. Rick Chambers live in Ontario with new details about what happened. Rick. Yeah, Micah, the man's friends tell us that fighting and violence was way out of character for Hugo Couture. So the question is, what sparked it here on Thursday night? That's still unknown because police have not released a motive. Hugo Cochoa was a husband and a father. Shot and killed, though, last night here along 6th Street in Ontario. I heard three gunshots. So, uh, you know, you panic. This is not an area where you normally hear gunshots. In this dash cam video, you can see the two men on the right of your screen and faintly hear the gun going off. Those shots coming from a police officer. The only thing I confirm at this point is that he is LAPD and he was off duty at the time. The LA Times reports that the officer is a 29-year veteran of the department who has been on medical leave. Hugo Cochoa, whose family claims he was not armed last night, had some sort of a run-in with the LAPD officer, possibly a fender bender, those two cars pulling to the curb here off Euclid. And then for some reason, their interaction escalated to violence in this busy street. We had multiple calls from residents nearby that heard the gunshots go off um, and people that were passing by in the area. Kind of scares me that it would go on in my neighborhood. Kelly Seha lives just up the block. It's so close to home that it could happen in nearby my house to the point where it makes me feel scared. 37-year-old Hugo Cachoa is described by his friends as a soft-spoken guy not prone to violence. So what triggered his deadly struggle is still a mystery. That LAPD officer is described to us as having visible injuries. He was taken to a local hospital. No charges have been filed at this point, but we're hearing late tonight that the California Department of Justice now is taking over the investigation. In Ontario, I'm Rick Chambers. Guys, I'll throw it back to you in Hollywood. All right, Rick, thank you. Now attend a deepening political divide across the country tonight following the historic criminal conviction of former President Donald Trump. The former president spoke out today, again calling the trial a sham, describing the judge as a devil. For his part, President Biden said the verdict proved no one is above the law. Mary Beth McDay joins us live from the KTLA News Center with the fallout from Trump's conviction and a look at what's next. MB. Well, Sharon Micah, the House Judiciary Chair, is now demanding the Manhattan District Attorney appear in Washington on June 13th to testify about what he calls the unprecedented political prosecution of former President Donald Trump. Meantime, Trump is addressing his guilty conviction and says he will appeal. This is uh, a case where if they can do this to me, they can do this to